meteor. Could I erode that ridge between rib and hip? The fluids, the cells, the squelch of organs cannot exonerate. It is not this body you erase, each incarnation changeless, fluid, cell, beyond touch, beyond retribution. There was a meteor shower, the Orionid. One flashed between the flick of lighter and cigarette tip, an ember streaking home. Its others all swallowed in the gloam of pool and nightlight palm. I want to be the kind of man who leaves the city to see a meteor. The embalmer sets our skin behind museum glass. The organs warm set out for the hounding street dogs retrospect. They revise strong sound chambers to scrap, not a murmur, a whimper or nothing. I want to be the kind of man who leaves the city to see a meteor. All our Orionids are swallowed in my breath. If I could nourish translucence, I might show you their gleam again. I would cure them behind museum glass. I would score them out and hang them back. I want to be the kind of man. Tot. It is hard to accept our precious crises can be calmed by a snack and a nap. God is dead, a bowl of Cheerios, a damp towel across the tile. God is dead and fed and clean. Mistake. Your mistake was no more than this. Salmon disintegrate upstream and make of their flesh a refuge for the future. You didn't. Sustenance. I am ravenous sorry and winters come. Hung like a lantern from the imitation terracotta eaves. Terracotta baked earth like bread above us. If I were kinder, I could eat the complaints of neighbors still sunning by the pool at this late phase of year. The children gone, the bills due. All sustenance begins like this, with spore, with spread, with root withering the calcareous soil, with muck blossom, Put it to your mouth. I want my hunger and my body both. Body. I am sleepy and weak, and I want your body. I want to curl up in it and down in it. I want to pull your body over my body, a blanket. I want to burrow, roost, Brood. I want to take it to a lake, your body a kite, your body a canoe. I want to build up your body a canopy, a teepee, a tower. I want to explore its utility. I want to make of your body gunpowder and wool. I want it to entwine, to entangle. I want to keep it for safekeeping. I want to wear your body like an apron, like a dress. I want to serve soup out of you. I want to dry my hands on your body. I want to, to wipe my feet fresh from the garden. I want your body to stand guard like a stone lion. I want to build your body jigsaw puzzle. I want to start at the edges and work my way in. I want to ride your body across inhospitable climbs 
with nothing to commend them but the sunsets. I want to drive your body to work each day and park it in tight parking spaces. I want to get a special deal on you. Comprehensive body warranty, labor, parts. I want to pack your body like a briefcase full of letters. I want to carry it with me on long, unnecessary journeys via train. The joiner for Mary S. Step on that line, she said. No demon soul nor strife may cross it. No bullet fire nor unclean force may ford it. Step on that line, she said. Lightning crossed its path. It break it. Hunger spring up neath dry tears. It slakes it. Dust that stops the unclean mouth, it clears it. Fever at the bone, it heals it. Mercy at the cross reveals it. It revels in the journey that finds us here. Step on that line, she say. Take it into the throat, the hand, the heart. Step on it, defy it to be anything other than what it is. Untitled. This thing, it breaks at the breast clean. It leaves without rancor, without the clutter of snow melt. It is itself as it scales the inner lining of old scar and tatted sinew. This thing, it cannot be ghettoized. It shares freely, gives beneath the thumb a sagging mix of rag and bone, Langston vowed would soon explode in the sun, this thing has seen you, riding bareback across the plain, plied you with needlepoint and hymnals, martyred you into psalm, then taken aim, this thing dressed your wound in Salem, wrapped itself in velvet tomes, this thing bathed your brow in wormwood, showered lynch mobs and beaded myrrh this thing. It eats you, sinks bare teeth into kings and paupers. Come noontide, it shuffles, soft-shoed over open tombs, stacked like cake in New Orleans, this thing. It hungers, dips both hands into the wellspring, lies down as it drinks. Saki by Montignon Finwadwe Vinignan Lumier, what lies in darkness. They carried her back to Prow, deep in the belly, lunar tides raging against the storm, 360 days crossing, saddled between this world and the next, the dark circumference of all things that pass from the hands of the mother and cannot be reclaimed. They danced her set her upon corn husk and the rough shells of iron shores and bid her move, arms and hips no more than casing, doves' wings and cicadas blossoming, the shedding of a bottomless skin, a volley of tongues held between what lies in. They bathed her, the tip of the blade, a vicar's fount, Edwardian pits of fire untamped, they stoke the flame, dare her to put it out. Knowing she is the maker, they confiscate the tools she brings. They reined her, slipped the bit as she crowned, dubbed it la solution finale, whilst the perfumed oil hides the sizzle 
the flesh aches just the same. They raised her, plowed her under as fallow ground, while the palms swayed fertile, each frond a caduceus bound at the heart, medicines flowing through muscle that find their origin here. Saki bai, montignon finwadwe vinignan lumye, they freed her, financed an installment of sons' lives and compromised conditions, swayed backs and unyielding dispositions, bloodlines and lightners, backdoors and vertiginous fountains, backhanded into a seat at a table where even prayer is danger. They fired her, cut the lights to her hoongan well before closing, showered her with the sweetest of poisons and with white sheets winding, set a torch to all that brought her, believing she will forget the wind, the salt, the third eye of the sun turned open from the inside out. She's known and yet has chosen again to come. Saki by Montignon Finwadwe Vinignan Lumye, she knows what lies in darkness. Saki by Montignon Finwadwe Vinignan Lumye, she knows what lies in darkness. Saki by Montignon Finwadwe Vinignan Lumye, she knows what lies in darkness. Saki by Montignon Finwadwe Vinignan Lumye, must come out to light. My ghost tries to kiss me outside of the cabin. Her face falls through mine, the black fire of evening, the smoke that buzzes along with the insects and the generators in my little idiot heart. Trees stubbornly tear the winds to shreds. When I ask her to show me where she grew up, she points down, entire towns suggesting themselves histories written in foundation stones and broken walls. She asks about the moon, what's behind its face, and why we can't see it. I don't understand. I don't understand, I say. It's rare that we see the moon, even one side of it fully, though it's always facing us. My ghost was all bones and opaqueness so I took her to the ghost market, thinking I could trade in this ghost, perhaps, for a newer, more betterer ghost. The market was less like a market and more like a dirt lot filled with trucks and some people selling VHS tapes. It was all wrong. The ghosts weren't what I'd expected at all. The first one wasn't even there. Another couldn't wail any louder than a mouse. One wasn't dim enough to look anything but alive, everywhere. Rows of laundry whites stain the breeze. Everyone smelled of wood ash and dried leaves. There were ghosts on sale that couldn't have been anything but people with sheets over their heads. I imagined their eyes straining to see through the cloth and noticed my eyes searching too for the same thing. My ghost doesn't understand me, nor me her. I sit in the dark garage, and the dark makes dark shapes. Outside, feet pass by. The pilot light in the water heater tower is shy and small and blue like a soul. Poor sad light. In the dark, everyone looks like the dark. Something mechanical clucks its tongue. Feet 
continue to pass outside of the door. It's easy to fall in love with the world. People fall into love like it was an uncovered well. Once, the snow turned green as it was falling. It's easier to let the world chisel at your heart until only the bitter stone inside is left. I ask my ghost if she's happy, but she's not there. I'm talking to the dark where there's a chair with a stranger's coat draped over its back. My ghost was gone, thin as a human, I understood. Things go, are, was, and were gone. Because I had not yet learned quite how to disappear, I kept looking for her. I cried so hard my eyes went black. At the town hall, I asked the ghost clerk for my ghost ghost records. At the hardware store, I bought a shovel and a bottle of strawberry crush. I went to the cemetery without any flowers. In the belly of her grave, all that was there were some parts of a body and old rags. The birds had gathered around. The crows were drunk again, and again they were laughing at me. And what now? It seemed like a good time to drink a soda. So I drank my soda. I couldn't see it, but my upper lip felt like it was a purplish red. The moon was watching the sun slump into the tree line. All you can do is love what you are. All you can do is try to accept that it's not going to last. My ghost, or if I even had one, isn't relevant. The soul is a ghost that looks like love, love. The big secret. Love, love is like the body. It's exhaustible. Skyward, an excess, my energy, ricocheted, emptiness. Look back, those eyes echo, reflect, early or late. Owls calling, owls do not sing in English. Someone heard, someone answered. Not a whisper, an order of being beneath the threshold of perceived sound. He'll be back, be sequence, be order, be waves, matter, a trick of time, same old chemical. She wished he wasn't going. Cares accumulate. Mass is knowledge, too. Fill, full, the vine-soaked air inside fire glints, glints, candlelight, skin. She could not stop thinking, no, not stop thinking, how very far away, how far away, it was unexpected. The change in temperature, the problem of warmth, naturally told the story, a kind of barometer, heard chronology, ticking that slow unfolding, a hand opening, point me, starred ray me, give him your inner, her once so synapse, before metaphor, a way of feeling, thought so too. Memory, a kiss, her tits, a kind of bruising. Was my heart that ripe, so cellular? 
She wanted out, out of her own casing. He received some part of her, a souvenir, a torn corner of a book, slipped into a book, felt like that, marked in him and through him. Inscription commits to the future or the past. The model could never decide, but the feelings were there, fixed in continuity, some atmosphere. He understood transparency, and I could finally breathe asshole, not meaning it, but making her feel better, separate at a time like this, sky pewter, a hint of matted glass, perpetual invisibilities, the other side distant city, globe, island, country, at least the atmosphere stable, durable, the presence of hydrogen wasn't enough. The field ripped, ruptured, threads hung, fray, fray, the dark air. I feel it too. So gravitational. He was so gone. He might as well just really stay away. Memory. Meant, thought, in here's. How? In here's. The realizations echo, repeat, shimmer, tiny meteors. Dust, dust upon the skin, what mechanism, the third term, term. what was called, was called consciousness? consciousness, he was he conjugating was in the sun, sun. exhale, exile, in you, I'll or ill the ex, while will a text which boo hoo, boo who will mention the boo book, it was lost, I lost. Inhale, exhale, echo, after the war, the voyage, can you hear it? Waves upon whose shore? What, what, what? There was sex. Sss. The sound some thread caught. I could have offered pronouns, ever seemed symbol, perhaps bird, finch, or owl. It fills meaning. Fill it in here, love's here, touch left, touch the keyboard, wipe, touch the keyboard. Did I make it up? So many extinguished stars last night, some mimeo upon the sky. Turn left and keep going, near the rock, actual outcrop. Find the, see, true, the where, where we, even if it wasn't, it really meant deeply and resonance, its own echo. Oh, did you hear that? Something through the emptiness fell. Fell, feel, the part left, leaving a metaphor, that timely farewell. Adieu, have a good old time. She wanted to, actually did, but the old pressures, the problem of math, the second law of thermodynamics, some ontological whatever, gathering the leaves, really piled up this year, oaks especially, fig, pear, cherries, the last to go in yellow flames, lapping at the ankles. It takes a lot of nerve. Consciousness has a body, meaning she continued slowly using her hands. Some I, positively lyric version of version, I the language, we the poets, this was stay, stay a little while. Amid Cyprus, restless, it echoed. Village, stone, ever bird, little bells chime, the vocal cord that singing again remembers story, intimate, the waves and troughs, in between, slick, curl up, echo, roll, outstretch, glide the multitudinous luxuries. Everything I wanted, my plural relational, side by side, yanked by the pronouns, prepare now, counting, let's go. The currents take us, one way or another, anyway. Slippery. See the condensation, 
Do you know that trick of time, the presence of moisture in our bodies, longing entails belonging, like rock upon the glass to light, air, skin, sky, something golden reflects? Jewelry or treasure? Ever digging this archaeology, my ruins or building, the lost, the found? What are we looking for? Some soft point? In the web, between fingers, there was a tongue. Getting easier, the love I had, have, has. Some perfect tense in a learned tongue, sounds breathing, links as in telepathy, or is it telephony? She could text myself into his hand, held there the words forming, beneath whose fingers? Though the message confined by the means, the shape of the home by its architecture, the life by its error effortless makes, wandering, wandering, never to origin, but to the embrace, some kind of holding pattern. It was human. I had met a wonderful man, a name, the absence it was waiting too while the fire my anger put the neuron on the brochette i digress the imagination in alternative colliding re-entry loops where affections muffle the acceptable what good 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 taste stiff upper lip he said stiffly and it all to do with intimacy deep in the body that terrain again pulls together, pulls, plural, primal, oval, vowel. Waiting is always more difficult at the end. The speed up and slow down, the time dilation contraction, wires holding it together. Can you see the ectoplasm floating? No, you can't, can you? Thought positively lunar among the thickenings untoward openings, and it did put a door there. So welcome, welcome, everything, all of it, too much felt perhaps, but intensity and view.